We are on section 7.3, the chemical equation. Chemical equations um, are what we use to represent chemical reactions, and we talked about those a little bit. On the left side of the arrow, we have the reactants, and on the right side, we have the products. So there's an example down here of a chemical equation. It's a little bit like a mathematical equation, but instead of an equal sign, we have an arrow. And so the things on the left side of the arrow are what you're starting out with. Those are the things that react, hence they're called the reactants. And on the, where the arrow's pointing to the right side, we have the products, and those are the things that are produced. So the reactants react to produce the products. In parentheses, after the chemical formulas, we often indicate what physical state they are in. And those are called state symbols, and here's the table from your book. And again, this is just very cryptic. Um, we use G for gas and L for liquid and S for solid. You guys can handle that? Um, this is the only thing that you might need a little explanation. AQ stands for aqueous, and that's similar to the um, Mex not Mexican, sorry, that's bad. The Spanish word for water, which is agua. So agua, aqueous, that means it's dissolved in water. So on the left side of the equation, we have um, the reactants, and on the right side, we have the products. But remember that matter must be conserved. Conservation of matter. Matter must be conserved. We cannot have atoms appearing or disappearing out of nowhere. Okay? They, they don't just appear. They, they have to be there to start with if they're going to show up at the end. So let's look at this. Um, it's helpful to look at an illustration. I'm, I'm a visual learner, and pictures are really helpful to me, and I think they're helpful to some of you as well. So here, methane is CH4, and here's a space-filling model of methane. So it's got one carbon, the black one in the center, and the four white ones around the sides. Those, those are the hydrogen atoms. You can think of these as a little bit like Tinker Toys or Lego blocks. Okay, so here's, you know, it's got one black ball and four white balls. Now, when we rearrange this, we call it a chemical reaction. All we're doing is taking these atoms apart and putting them together in a different way. How can we end up with only two white balls over here? That's not, that's not possible. And this slide is focusing on the oxygen atoms. We're starting out with two red balls, two oxygen atoms. Over here, in the carbon dioxide, we have two oxygens, and in the water, we have an oxygen. So it appears that this red ball just appeared out of nowhere, and, and that can't happen. So that doesn't mean that the reaction is wrong. It means that our description of what is actually happening is wrong, and we need to adjust our equation. So here's the illustration showing that on the left side, we have four hydrogen atoms, and now on the right side, we only have two. And those two hydrogen atoms can't just disappear. They also cannot transform into an oxygen. Lego blocks don't turn into other Lego blocks while you're building with them. It just doesn't happen. So we need to adjust our equation, and we call that balancing the equation. The equation needs to be balanced. We can think of this a little bit like a teeter-totter. Oh, that's the wrong color to use. Let's use black. So if this is a teeter-totter here, then the fulcrum here, where it balances, is at the arrow. And what's on the left side of the arrow has to balance what's on the right side. You know, if you think of these as bowling balls, you know, if you have two red bowling balls, maybe those are the eight-pound balls. On the left side, you need to have two eight-pound bowling balls on the right side. Otherwise, the teeter-totter is going to lean one way or the other. So we're going to balance the equation. To do this, we cannot change the subscripts on the formulas. This is our description of methane reacting with oxygen, and the formula for methane is CH4, and we can't change that just to make the equation better. What we can do is we can add to our equation more molecules or more atoms. And so here, if we put another oxygen molecule in here, now on the left side we've got four, and on the right side, we had three, but if we add another water molecule also, 
Now we see that we've got four red balls on the right and four red balls on the left. And we've got four white balls on the left and four white balls on the right. And one black on each side. This is balanced. All the pieces that we started with are accounted for in what we end up with. This is an important concept. Anybody have any questions? Does that make sense? Think of, think of building with blocks. You can't just have a block appear in your tower that wasn't there before. And you can't make them disappear either. The rule is you have to use all the blocks. Whatever you started with, you have to use them all. So that's the visual of what we're doing. In the equation, what we do is we say, okay, well, one CH4, and then we need two of these guys, okay? Um, each molecule is two oxygen atoms. We don't change the subscripts to balance the equation. We just say, oh, well, we've got two of those guys. And then over here, we've got one CO2. And you notice we don't write the ones. We didn't write the ones in the chemical formulas. We didn't write the ones in the charges for the anions and cations. And we don't write ones here either. So there's an implied one here. And then over here, we have two water molecules. So if we don't look at the pictures, we can count up the atoms. We have one C over here and one C over there. Over on this side, we have two of these guys, and each of them has two oxygens. That's two times two is four. Over here, we have two oxygens in this one and two times one in that guy. So there's a little math here, but it's, it's pretty easy math. It's a little bit of adding, a little bit of multiplying, but they're all small whole numbers. So there's two oxygens over there four on one side, four on the other. Four hydrogens here, and two times two, four hydrogens over there. 